So pleasant. This area is off limits to all active PDT users. Please oh, see damn your supervisor for further instructions. We're gonna have to cut our own PDT out. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, it's just all like the PDT end of Dead Space 2. Two, yeah. They must have changed security settings. Stop anyone from heading down below. Sweet. All coming up. So anyway, you notice how there's constant lightning and thunder coming through the windows? That's the uh yeah, that's, wait a minute. that's a thing that's a thing inspired by uh that's a thing inspired by um uh Event Horizon. Uh <laughs> that utter jerk. I cannot believe that asshole. What kind of a man dumps a girl on their anniversary? Poor Danica's in hysterics. I had to swap my shifts on account of that prick. Sadie made that easy enough. She's such a good friend to me. We were inseparable at nursing school until she decided to branch out into botany. Seems she sued more to general medical research than patient care. That's fine. I don't mind. I prefer working with people to plants anyway. The new walkway in hydroponics is a bonus too. Some of our boys like to stretch their new limbs among the greenery. Who said that the new departments were of no use? This is selfish, I know. But damn it, I've had so much on my plate. I'm having to do serious overtime, and then ungrateful turds like Eric mean I've got even more to deal with. My poor baby sister. Body of a 30-year woman, mind of a 16-year-old girl. Apparently, he says being the pilot of the Ozymandias is just too much pressure on our relationship. As is that sweet little co-pilot he recently acquired. I've had up to here with pilots. Are they ever not chasing tail? Well, tonight should be okay, but we've got Danica coming around with some of the girls and a shipment of quote-unquote Martian champagne. The budget increase is proving to be a blessing and a curse. We've got more equipment for sure, but nowhere near enough space for it. If only the Groom Lake was one of those modular types, we might be able to get some extra room. Sadie and I are working our butts off around here. God bless Sadie. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be an alcoholic by now. Danica is still not over her douchebag ex and calls me up crying most nights just to talk about how she misses him. Next time I see him, I'm going to punch his lights out. I worry about Danica. She's... She's something... She's depressed, not eating, not sleeping. I might ask Ingratia to book her in for an appointment. She needs a shrink. Work-wise, the regeneration tanks are working beautifully, but the increased demand for them means we're running short of chemical dissociation reagents, and self-growth regeneration fluid is pretty much spent. Speaking of the fluid, it's this new stuff Dr. Mallon's unit has had us using. It's technically the same as the last stuff, but I'm sure the molecular composition is different. Apparently, it's four times as effective. It seems kind of unpredictable, actually. I've already asked Dr. Harvey to request that we switch back to the old one, which he has done. Twice. Why are they ignoring us? Because they're sticking all the cell growth stuff in the cloning vat. Crazy huge brawl in the mess hall today. All the guys sweating and looking like they OD'd or something. There's been a spike in violent assaults. I swear it has something to do with the new supplies that came in. There was into that new regen fluid. It seems like everything else is slightly off too. I'm sure of it. Diet, medicines, genetic samples, you name it. I spoke to Sadie and she also swears that there's been tampering. The idea we've been ingesting bad food for months cures the shit out of me. You're going to get a friend of mine to analyze some samples. Until then, I'm locking my door at night. I'm not sure who I can trust. Sadie's been giving her strange looks, too. I might actually change the lock. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I have to see Danica. I have to. She's with two others near the hangars, and I'm stuck here in medical. Two rifles taken from Malone and Bird and a laser scalpel. That's all we have to get there. Sadie keeps fighting me on this and making excuses. She's starting to piss me off. Has that idiot forgotten where we are? That the Groom Lake is now a freaking hunting ground and my sister's in the middle of it? I don't fucking care if they don't come with me. I have to see my sister. They have to know about Danica. I heard her on the radio a day or so ago, so I know she's still alive. She has to be hiding. Danica was always better than me at hide and seek back home. It took hours to find her. Once mom sent a search party for her and she'd been hiding at the bottom of the garden, tucked inside a dirt hole where dad was planting beets. She's hiding. She has to be. Sadie's causing me problems. If she won't come with me, I guess I'll have to make her come along, whether she wants to or not. Sinister. And same emails. Oh wait, no, this is everyone. Dear Erica, I was under the misapprehension that your request was perhaps paranoia, but given the tests performed on the provided samples, well, I have to be honest, the implications are frightening. I'll generally concur with your theory that some batches initially went bad, but there's clearly more than spoilage at work. You have to understand that when batches like this are spoiled, it's not just a few. A fungus, for instance, spread along the samples. There's an astonishing difference between the samples you've sent me. Some seem to have cultivated quite f well for the qualities they've demonstrated. You know brassica samples genetically enhanced with some form of PCP? Jesus. 
I know this because huh. I tested it on one of my rats. The poor thing lashed out violently, had a, suffered a seizure, and then died. Wait a minute. Precise name is DV85, a so drug that was popular for enhancing the abilities of so-called remote viewers during their eugenics wars. Laboratory created stuff. All designer, all professional. The most alarming part is owing to the different genetic strains from the five samples you sent for analysis. I get the impression these contaminants were deliberately distributed to both staff and patients. I'm not sure what lunatic would do such a thing, least of all in a long-haul lab ship, but I've sent a request to my superiors at the ministry to examine the matter further. On a technical note... A more informal note, look after yourself, Erica. You were always my best pupil, and I'm pleased that you chose to confide in me. I do apologize that it has taken so long to get back to you. With fondest affection, Luke. University of Tampa. I'm pretty sure you can't genetically enhance PCP. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'm pretty sure it's just a chemical. Anyways, this, this is why I was playing the sad music. So bloody up, like the guy under the floor. You could say that. I'm not sure how many people I'm looking at. So this is it's like something from a eugenics war thing. Try to push through, John. So this is also a thing from Event work. Horizon. One step at a the time. eugenics war? No, the uh, the the crew like smashed into bits against the walls of the ship. That's the state that they find the the titular event horizon in. To be fair, it's also pretty dead spacey. Okay. Once, uh, uh, I thought becoming new head tech, head medical tech on this deck would actually improve things, but it's like being thrown into the lion's den. The lockdown a few months back was a real pain, but these inventory discrepancies are the real problem. And then yesterday, the systems went haywire. The first thing Erica does, of course, is call up her little sister to make sure she's okay. I suppose I can understand that. I just wish that, well, I wish you'd ask after me sometimes, too. Yesterday, during the power outage, I was locked inside a storage room for two hours. But Danica's fine, of course, so who cares about me? I was only trapped in a product storage room with only plant cultures and human limbs for company. I took a look at them, actually. It's part of my job with the plants, anyway, and I had to do something to keep my mind off things. Good specimens, all of them. Except specimens uh, 99D, E, and F. I couldn't for the life of me work out why samples this badly mutated would be permitted anywhere near the greenhouses. These are recent, too. Dear God, what imbecile in shipping sent these to storage? Kane's hydroponics have the strictest quarantine regulations in the galaxy, punishable by losing your damn job. Must be that news section a few floors down. They've got all kinds of fools on the payroll. Maybe if they didn't use random shapes for their shipping codes. You know, I usually like to spend time in the greenhouses, but I swear something's going funny with some of the new crops. Erica said I'm probably just imagining but imagining it, but I had a whole bunch of brassica growth cultures thrown out the other day showing signs of what looked like Dutch elm disease. How is that possible? What? I'm going to submit a report. How am I supposed to explain to Dr. Mound and the board that we have mutant cultures in storage and perfectly good crops with extinct diseases is another matter. Erica's lost her damn mind. I'm scared out of my mind right now. She dragged us on a fool's errand across the ship to look for Danica. I tried to tell her how I saw one of those things wearing Danica's face the other morning. Oh god, it makes me want to puke just thinking about it. It looked like a deflated balloon as it scuttled up the walls. I swear Ingracia fried it with a bolt, but we can't be sure. He's a psychiatrist, not a soldier. Then again, are any of us soldiers? Erica seems to think we're in the Marine... Corps. Waving that rifle around with a crazy look in her eye, threatening to kill anyone who disagrees with her. Erica, I told her, you are a nurse. God, I barely recognize her anymore. What happened to my best friend? What happened to that girl from Stokely, Mississippi? I don't know who Erica Boxer is anymore. They took my face! Erica died this morning. My friend is gone. One of those horrible things tore her spine out of her body right in front of my eyes. I must be one of the last ones left alive. Not that I've got long. I'm infected with something. I can feel it. I checked out the hydroponics lab this morning. It's a wreck. I could have told them, anyone could have told them, that trying to breed a new fungus to kill the old one would be disastrous. The rest of it won't budge. I've tried tearing it away with the laser scalpel Erica gave me, but it did nothing. Zip, zilch, nada. What doesn't kill it really does make it stronger. I'm going back to retrieve Erica's remains later. I know she died a crazy woman, but she was my friend. I still love her. And then, yeah, this is the same message about PDTs. Oh, but these are new. 
first, allow me to apologize for mailing you directly, but this is a classified red emergency. I've undertaken further inspections beyond samples 99 D, E, and F and found that the majority of our inventory has been compromised by tampering. There are signs that the tampering began some time ago. Some of the materials are merely spoiled, but a large quantity appears to have been illegally modified. I'm not sure who the new suppliers are, but the inventory they provided does not match the chemical manifest included. I'm aware this is a shipping concern rather than a hydroponics one, but Project Seed is based around our successful cultivation of hybrid and nutritious plants in unusual conditions. With the current stock we possess, there's no limit to the number of illegal or mutated nutrients going to our plant growth. I'd advise that shipping and medical begin more thorough inspections of the received cargo. I suspect the product could go back, problems could go back for months, although I have no evidence to prove this. Uh, please recommend immediate termination of supply runs and decontamination of irrigation pipes until this is resolved. Hydroponics Technician Level 1. Sadie, I love you very much, sweetie, but have you lost your damn mind? Those samples are restricted. What if Dr. Mallon finds you brought out samples from the storage base? It's not only your job you'll be losing. I'll do what you ask, but only because you've never been wrong before. Though I pray to God you are this time. Love, Erica. Great. Wow, so we have Sadie to blame for all this? Well, of sure. All, of is all the people who doomed us. Malin is apparently a big part of this. Well, yeah, but... Serotonergic receptors are present in the principal vascular system. So when are we getting what the drill back? What about my secondary vascular system? Uh, the, the drill, the drill's gone. I, I think it's peripheral vascular system. <laughs> so anyway, here's the surgery center. Oh god, oh, cool. there's colors. It's time for a color puzzle. Uh, yeah, kind of. Mainly all of these just correspond to stuff we need to put in the surgery pod. Ah, yeah. Throw a bit of teal in there. A bit of perp. I'm back. It's been cut up. Of course! They must have manually removed the PDTs. So this is where we learned the PDTs are, like, way more complicated than I would have expected. The bodies. The bodies in the crew quarters. They were skinned. Creatures were using the PDTs to move through secure areas. So for me to get to the lower deck. Okay, so generally speaking, we are under the assumption that the main character has not actually read any of the PDAs, right? No, that wouldn't work. That's what I'm guessing. This is the only surefire way. What are you saying? The surgery pod should already be programmed to remove it. It didn't work out so well for this poor woman. It's the only way, unless you space jump between decks. Space jump? Like Metroid? Yeah. John prep the pod. Use space jump. <laughs> so anyway, we need to we need to get uh, organics. We need to get which is full of protein and fat. Okay. We need to get oxygen. Okay. We need to get cryo stuff. Sure. And we need anesthetic. Fortunately, there's already anesthetic. Great. The only thing that isn't strictly necessary. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like without anesthetic, you probably die. What? They're just digging around at the base of your spine. It's fine. Yeah, I think there's like shock and other responses like that aren't really designed for that. So anyway, let's you. We're gonna. We, <clears throat> we need to get oxygen into the oxygen container. Hey, I'm basically a doctor. I golfed once. I don't think this will fit. But if we take this collection of loose cables... Okay, fine, it was mini-golf. Okay, so we resolve that. Yeah. Also, I like that the- I like that the AI for the- for the surgical pod is randomly British. Yeah, of course. It puts people at ease. Oh wait, there's another PDA. What is a spinal hook? Oh, it's it's a uh, Isaiah Al Rajkapar. Yeah, we actually see some of the people sending out emails. A new year for the chief surgeon and a new year for the staff of the medical deck. I had to think of it that way. I gets rather confusing. 
The staff of the medical deck now consists of three extra sections. Cybernetics, tissue regeneration, and for some reason, med medicinal hydroponics. Yes, it may be medicinal, but as I told Dr. Malin, they are still plants. I don't wish to seem ungrateful. It is Kane Corporation who opened so many new doorways for me, and who redefined the frontiers of medicine for us all. As a man who served his apprenticeship on the battlefields, elbow deep in the blood of innocence, to see those deserts and war-torn villages reborn as images of Nirvana is a privilege, and all thanks to the sciences of Cain. It is hard to understand why, on the Groom Lake, so many departments are being forced to share resources like this. I hear our budget will be up for review soon, and the chances of getting an increase are slim. I shall try to remain positive. My goodness, a 300% budget increase! I have not yet been even able to imagine how helpful this financial windfall will be. Dr. Mallon assured me that a sizable portion of his budget will be applied to Project Seed. It makes our work that much more essential. We'll order new equipment and new samples, although I don't totally agree with the ethics of Dr. Mallon's acquisition of volunteers for surgery and testing. The leaves and bounds we made in our research more make than make up for the rest of it. Is it wrong that we must test the limits of morality for the greater good? The uh, greater I don't like good. the sound of testing the limits of morality. For the greater good, weren't you listening? I'm a surgeon who's seen many good. awful things in the blood-soaked abattoirs of the Pangea Wars, so perhaps this should be second nature to me. But I don't recall agreeing to the use of children for testing. I went to inspect the stasis tubes at the request of my chief nurse and found that there were several children, some as young as nine years old, awaiting processing. Children? I was shocked and appalled and demanded an explanation from Dr. Mallon. Edward Jenner has to test vaccines on children to see if they'd work, he said. I knew the story. What medical does not? Jenner injected infected purulent exudates into the child's arm, which must have seemed callous to disregard for the child's life, and yet it saved the boy. That's how he convinced me. We are at the frontier of the sciences. Chances must be taken. I do not always feel comfortable with his ethical choices, but his logic is sound. The research is too valuable for us to let a few moral qualms get in our way. I fear that my decision to become a surgeon with Kane Corporation is not quite as simple as I thought. The first casualties of the infection spreading across the ship came to my lab, where we had to set up a quarantined operating room. I had to get hands-on with a patient for the first time in years. The flow of blood, the cutting of infected tissue using my specialized tools. God forgive me, but I enjoyed it. It's impossible to explain the adrenaline rush from playing God in such a way, of having the lives of so many on the verge of death in your hands. I felt it on the battlefields, and I feel it now. It is not the beauty of birth that moves me, it seems, but the pungent stench of death. I thought I'd join King Corporation to save my soul. Instead, it's to slake the thirst of the beast in me, whose jaws slaver at the scent of blood. I am ashamed. How could I have not seen it? Those awful life forms are disguising themselves as us inside us. They wear our skins and our PDTs, which explains how the security systems cannot detect them. If I didn't already know where those creatures came from, this would perhaps be less frightening. But they're learned. The vile abominations. Abomination, what a word that is. It appears to summarize what I, we, have created in our hubris. We have created evil. God help us all. An email from me. I need to stop replying all. Project Seed. <laughs> Ooh, 99.89% chance of a non-fatal reaction in subjects. That's pretty sweet. O negative between 5.5 five and 6.0. Honestly, you have a worse chance with that, with like a, a, a saline inge injection. <laughs> so I think it's worth noting that, um, that uh, John is... Uh, John, I believe, is also O negative. Sure. And I don't remember the exact genetic makeups, but I th of uh, of blood types and what leads to I don't know what how blood types can combine for healthy kids or whatever. I don't know if that's an important thing. What blood types combining for healthy children? Yeah, I don't know. There's there's certain genetic markers or something like that. I don't know. Blood types are more of a of a set of markers for like antibodies, though. Right more compatibility than anything yeah so i don't know but anyway john's o negative sweet also the subject had to be between five five and six oh i don't know why it's important so one thing i'm realizing here and one 
critique I have of, of the ones from uh, of the medical logs we've gotten, or the from the PDAs we've gotten in medical, is they feel less like things that somebody would have written and more stuff that was written specifically for the player. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I think I've known some uh, people who might write a long diatribe on the morality of their own actions. Blood and tissue, good. You say as we scrape blood off the wall. Blood and tissue. Again with this bullshit? <laughs> So one thing, one thing that's speculated on the Steam forums about this, so you notice we got locked out because they detected our data tags, so we got to put somebody else's data tags there. Sure. Right. Um, but one thing that's speculated on the Steam forums, um, between this and the talk of the talk of PCP and the constant thing from John suit telling him that his serotonin levels are rising is that like is is this uh, is this theory that John's like just kind of wildly hallucinating Tia, a survivor. I don't think PCP really does that as such he's in stasis I mean, I think it, it more hampers your judgment than causes you to hallucinate. Especially not, like, wild narrative confabulations like this. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the, Legs. The, the PDAs did just suggest that there's, you know, some sort of illness or madness spreading among the crew. You, you can have, um... Erica was convinced she had it. Another body. We become the CEO of Legs. Yeah, you you can have a, a hysterical contagion like that, although it's rare and we don't really understand the mechanism for it. Be still, my beating heart. I saw the most divine creature in hydroponics. She's friends with that nurse, Erica. Erica gives me the evil eye, but Sadie, Sadie's just a divine thing. Curves in all the right places, in the face of an angel. All the way up the You're thorax. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying to come up with reasons for <laughs> visit the medical hydroponic station. She never sees me though. I'm not trained medical staff. The soldiers in the recovery rooms give me funny looks, and they see me trying to get her attention. I have to find a way to speak to Sadie directly. And I've seen the head of decontam head. I've seen her head to the decontamination room. <laughs> I've seen she seems to go there the after every shift. Room. I might try to strike up a conversation near one of the machines, offer to buy her a drink. I'll do it tomorrow, or maybe the day after, because tomorrow i got a double shift. Still, it takes a brave man to work on unknown sciences in the bosom of the cosmos. All the right curves it? on that cosmos. <laughs> like jocks at school will be able to do what I do. All the curves What's in space-time. What's with the shutdown? Nine days now? I've been trying to get to the surgical pods for a week. Take a look at those closed time-like curves. <laughs> God <damn> it. <laughs> curves warp the very fabric of space-time. <laughs> anyway, I'm reading this book by Arian Sanchez about the eugenics war. It's, it's amazing we're even allowed to be what we do in the groom like all those it's all that happened years ago. I had to hide the book though. Dr. Milan saw me reading it in the rec room and went totally ape what? shit. <laughs> Threatened to burn the book and fire my ass and so now it stays under my pillow. I sure as hell don't take it on my rounds. Instead I bring that one on the Pangean Wars by W. C. Clark. Is that his real name? I doubt it. W. C. Dark. Anyway, I love Major Plot Hole. He's incredible. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Rations arrived today. Nobody's impressed. This is all emergency shit, so hardly gourmet of a man. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. But this is seriously bad. Because food short, people are going bug fuck. Right Let up the punch Malone. <laughs> Broke the poor bastard's <laughs> nose. Uh, saying we can't just raid hydroponics, they keep shutting me down, especially Sadie. She looks so pissed when she sees me. Nowhere near as pissed when she looks at Dr. Milan and Dr. Alrush Kupar. She must despise me. Why don't I just ask her out before? Because you're a coward, Burke. A dirty, stinking coward. Coward! 
power went out again. I'm so freaking scared I can barely breathe. The rumors of animals crawling around medicals, not rumors. I saw one guy ripped apart by one of those things. Couldn't make it out too well. Pale skin, tails, I think. They move around like a pack of dogs. They're strong. People are scared and they're hungry. I kept a small stash of food in my quarters. I didn't even tell Steve about it. I feel ashamed for keeping it to myself. People are crazy, Not man. even Steve? <laughs> I think it might be against regulation to hoard food. Miglieta would kill me if she knew I had rations hidden, but come on, the guy's nuts. He practically strangled me the other day. Carswell had to restrain him. Body still freaking kills from the operation earlier. Steve was nominated to reprogram the security turrets. Another guy went and did it. He's a hero, not like me. Now I'm not just a coward, but a freaking murderer. I used those poor bastards in stasis to keep those god-awful things from getting me. Unlocked the stasis units and began the recovery process. When they staggered out of deep freeze, those things were waiting for him. Found the product storage room nobody's using and locked myself in. When I heard the breach reported, I heard the screams. Pissed myself. I fucking pissed myself. Is that any way for a real man to behave? So I ran. I saw Steve, Sadie cradling her best friend's bloody body in the corridor. Worst part is it didn't even occur to me to stop. I just hoped they'd buy me the time I need to find a hiding place. That's who Burt Carter was. Whoever finds this. And I know somebody will. He was a coward. Whoever finds my computer parts in the PDA. Come handy... Uh, my my hide was uselessness in life. Hopefully, I can find something useful to leave behind. I can't believe also. he didn't even tell Steve. Yeah, fucking Steve. Steve's been there for us. In Steve we trust. Episode five in Steve we trust. Anyway, next time we get into some horrendous <laughs> medical shit, so stick around for that. That'll be fun. Self-surgery is always a good story. Yeah.